His TV career spans decades. He's interviewed world leaders and the most high-profile TV, movie, and music legends, and he got his start right here in Detroit. I started with Coleman Young back in the day, and if you could interview uh, Coleman Young, uh, for those who certainly remember the great mayor of the city of Detroit, you could interview anybody. For Black History Month, I sit down with Detroit's own journalist and author, Ed Gordon. Ed Gordon was born and raised right here in Detroit. He attended Cass Tech, Western Michigan University, and went on to work in the most coveted jobs in the television industry as a national network broadcast journalist. NBC, MSNBC, CBS, BET, all on his resume, but it all started right here in the D. You have interviewed some of the most notable people in the world. Um, talk about how your career started as a native of right here in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, listen, I started right here um, at Channel 56. I was an unpaid intern. Next, a life-changing job at Detroit Black Journal. And they really poured into me all of their knowledge, and I owe them a debt of gratitude and really my career. Along with a Detroit giant. And if you could interview uh, Coleman Young, you could interview anybody. And he did, from world leaders like Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, President Clinton, to legends in film, TV, and music, Whitney, Oprah, Eddie, Stevie, and Tupac. The interview that I'm most asked about today is uh, the interview I did with Tupac Shakur. The same crime element that white people are scared of, black people are scared of. It's interesting because there are kids who know me literally only from that interview and watching it on YouTube. The biggest interview I had was the O.J. Simpson interview, and that's really what catapulted me to um, even greater heights. You worked in some of the most iconic shows, today's show, 60 Minutes, and of course, for so long at BET, I mean, yeah. you were the face that so many of us got our news from, um, particularly in the African-American community. Yeah, you know, and I don't take that for granted, particularly black men males were seen in a certain light, often negative, and I wanted to portray that you could be um, intelligent in the forefront. Gordon's latest project, author of a book released this month called Conversations in Black. The idea was to get as many of the top thought leaders and influencers as I could to talk about the state of black America and what's going on in this country. And each uh, chapter is a different topic, from Black Lives Matter to our images uh, in the media. He hopes the book will generate more conversation among individuals and groups who read it. So my hope is um, just to convince people to believe that they have the power to make change. And Ed went on to tell me that his career influences and role models were Bryant Gumbel and his years on the Today Show, where Ed later worked, and the late Ed Bradley, who he ultimately worked with during his years at 60 Minutes. If you would like to see the full uncut interview with Ed Gordon, it's definitely worth watching, and we have it on the Black History Month page of ClickOnDetroit.com.